All right, so having seen some of the tools that we're gonna use, let's dive in and I'll show you how to set up a new project working with chart.js. Um, so this is the first example that we're gonna build in the next video. Um, it's making a line chart and um, we're gonna write our code, at least for the first couple projects, here in this web editor. And this is actually part of a different uh, JavaScript library called p5.js. Um, p5.js is a language built on JavaScript as well uh, for artists and designers, and it's meant to do things like interactive graphics and stuff like that. It's really awesome. If you wanna learn more about that, you should take uh, creative programming with me. Um, but we're gonna use their online web editor because I think it's a really easy user-friendly tool. It allows us, as you can see here, to write code and to run it all in the same page. And it requires very little setup. We can also save online and we can share projects with each other. Um, so we'll be using this web editor. Like I said, you can see here the code. Um, down below here is the console. This is where error messages will pop up. We can also um, display text there as a feedback as we're working. And then our, our um, sketch, you'll often hear me call it a sketch. That's what we call it in, in P5.js and processing. Our code or our sketch will appear on the right side here and it's running like a website. So it's interactive, you know, all that. We can see if I resize it. Um, it automatically does that with it, which is really great. So that's why we're gonna be using this tool. Um, and uh, let me just show you then how you would go ahead and get started um, to write a chart.js project here. Um, so you're gonna to wanna to go to the collections of, of uh, code for this week. And if you go down to the bottom to line chart template, you can click on that. Um, and I've gone ahead and set up some template code for you. Um, I think this will make it much easier and um, save a bunch of confusing steps. So there is one thing you'll have to do, which is make an account on the uh, web editor here. It's free, um, but what that will allow you to do is then go to File, Duplicate, and you can take this template code and make your own copy of it. So now it says line chart template copy. Um, the name here will change because um, now it's yours and not mine. Obviously it doesn't change because I'm just copying my own. Um, and all the stuff you need here to get started is already loaded and ready to go. Let me just give you a little tour of why this is the case. Um, so if I click this arrow over here, it opens up this little sidebar and I can see four files associated with my project. Um, the first is sketch.js. This is where we're gonna be actually writing code and doing 99% of the work, um, at least for this first project. And if you've done web design before, some of these other files might look familiar. So index.html is actually the um, web page that displays your project. Um, so it loads some of the things, including our code. It also loads the chart.js library and then um, the graphics that you generate get put into here. There's also the CSS page, which um, defines the look, position, size of all of the elements in our HTML file. Um, we don't need to touch this at all for a little while. Um, and then the last thing is the actual chart.js library. Um, so the reason I've gone ahead and made a template is all these things need to be connected properly and ready to go for you to be able to make a project. And it's a lot, especially if you've never written code or um, done JavaScript before, it's a lot to keep track of. So I've just gone ahead and made it really easy and you can quickly dive into the part that's important, which is making visualizations. Um, one other thing you might wanna have open while you're working is the chart.js documentation. So this is the part for line charts. And um, if you scroll through, you'll see all of the properties that you can change for a line chart. I mean, there's just so many, and we're gonna touch in uh, this series of videos on a tiny part of this, but having the documentation open, even if you don't know exactly how to do what you find, it gives you ideas of what's possible to be changed with a particular um, format. Um, so when I'm coding, I will often have my code open here. Now I'm on two monitors, so I usually actually have two windows going and I'll have the documentation. And then also, you know, just like a search open because you're always looking, trying to remember how to do stuff. Um, so set up an account with P5.js, do um, make a, duplic a duplicate copy of this template code. And then I'll see you in the next video where we'll actually start adding some data and diving in to make our first visualization.